What if Deku had mobs powers? Part 2. Before I do get into it, please, if you guys do watch the battle videos, comment your suggestions for which characters should go up against each other in tomorrow's battle video. Now getting into this what if. Where I left off is Zuku just beat the sludge villain, took his brother water bottle back to his house, and yeah. So getting into this, his brother water bottle would end up meeting All Might on the beach to where he would train for 10 months. Zuku would then end up going to the UA entrance exam along with his brother water bottle as they were talking. Hey, Water Bottle, how are you gonna make the exam without cork? As Water Bottle would then say how his cork just somehow appeared, to which Izuku would nod. They'd both walk in and take the exam, Izuku getting a normal grade while his brother Water Bottle getting a high grade, and then he would also walk over into the auditorium to where they would see present Mike as he would start to explain the exam and how they're gonna face against robots where they're going to fight one pointers two pointers and three pointers and there may even be some zero pointers but just ignore them as they are obstacles now they all line up as the doors open with many people rushing out. Izuku would see these robots and think, well, these aren't humans, so my psychic powers should be good to use against them. As Izuku would raise his hand up, as he would then see many of the robots start to lift up as he just crinkle his fist or his hand into a fist as the robots would smash into each other creating a ball. He'd go around doing this to many different robots as he would then sit down waiting as the rest of the people would end up getting points as Suzuku starts to feel the ground shaking. He puts his hand on the ground as he can feel the vibrations as stones start lifting up off of the road as Suzuku looks up to see a massive robot with a big zero painted on its chest in red paint, as Izuku would then hear a cry for help as he looks over to see a girl named Uchako Uraraka trapped under a rock right below the zero pointer. Izuku would rush in to help her as he'd get his psychic powers as he'd put his hand out stopping the zero pointer and sending it back as he'd go flying and ram into many of the buildings as it would then fall down. From there, Izuku would pick up the rock with his psychic powers and save the girl, Uraraka, from under it, as he would then see Recovery Girl go out and basically just kiss Uraraka on the cheek or whatever to heal her, as she would then say to be more careful. From there, Izuku would walk away as he would meet up with Water Bottle as he would then see Water Bottle talking about how he got many robots, as Izuku would say, Hey Water Bottle, how'd you do? As Water Bottle would then say he did quite well getting many points. If he was correct, he had just about 75 points. To which Izuku would then say, That's great, Water Bottle, as they'd walk home and wait for their acceptance letters to arrive in the mail. Now, two weeks pass as they both get their acceptance letters, Izuku having Nezu on it saying that he scored quite well on both the tests, just kind of not so well on the written portion, and um, Water Bottle getting a message from All Might saying how he's grown so much in the past 10 months training, which would spark some suspicion with Izuku, but not too much. A week after that would pass as they'd walk into UA as they start to wander around the buildings asking each other questions like where do you think class 1a is this building's quite big not sure how to navigate it as they'd end up finding class 1a and walk in from there they'd sit down and just be quiet as they would hear the door slide open and some weird yellow sleeping bag type thing would inch its way in 
from there it would stand up and reveal their Sorry about that ad break guys, I accidentally clicked something that caused my recording to shut off so I just decided, screw it, there's the ad break. Um, but I was about to say, it would stand up revealing their teacher, Aizawa, as he would then walk over to them and tell them that they will be doing a test for corks, and to all walk down to testing ground E after putting on their PE uniforms. He throws them to each student and walks down there. From there, he would give a ball to Izuku, saying he scored the highest on the exam, and to throw this ball as far as he can. Izuku would just wind back his fist and throw it, as the ball would just land there, as I saw would just say, you sit with your cork. As Izuku would just say, oh, I don't have one of those. I have something called psychic abilities as Izuku would just lift up the ball very easily and then just throw it again with his psychic powers from there going just around a thousand meters. Isawa would say, I guess you're not lying. I did try to erase your cork, but nothing happened. You may proceed with the test. As from there, Izuku would score mid-range tests as he would then get around 11th, not being the greatest physical-wise with running. Now, from there, I saw what would just say, Alright, Toro, Hagakure, and Mineta, you two are expelled. Please leave the classroom and go to the Principal Nezu's office. As from there, they would cry, but would end up complying, going to Principal Nezu's office. As they would tell him he, they were expelled and they would leave. Now, following Toro and Mineta, they would end up going into a random bar, hoping to drink their life away, having had their only career choice destroyed, mostly for Toro Hagakure, because she's invisible. It's plain and simple, an invisible girl's not going to get a job at McDonald's because she's invisible. So... They would end up walking into a bar, but that bar would happen to be the League of Villains hideout, revealing only Shigaraki and Kirogiri. If you guys have watched the anime and listened closely, it is said that Dobby, Toga, Spinner, Mr. Compress, um, all of those villains that we normally see with the League of Villains did not join until they were inspired by Stain. And since they didn't join since then, Toru Hagakure and Mineta would have been original villains on their team. So from there, Toru Hagakure and Mineta would get trained to become better villains than they are. I mean, Toru is an invisible girl. She's good for stealth. And Mineta, he, he's Mineta. And, I, and that's really all I can explain. Explain. I mean, I did explain about Mineta first Sakura and that. Uh, so, we cut back to UA, where Izuku and his brother Water Bottle were walking back into class after another day of training, with Izuku looking worn out, while Water Bottle just looking like he had a good workout. Now, uh, from there, they would end up hearing running from down the hall, as the door bursts open off of its hinges, as All Might yells, I'm running through the door like a normal person. And today, we're going to be doing a Heroes vs. Villains assignment. As he would then explain the Heroes vs. Villain assignment, showing them how everything's going to work and what teams they're going to have to do. Izuku would be paired up with Uchaka Uraraka, as they would then basically walk down after putting their hero costumes on, Izuku just being his middle school outfit that he usually would wear to when he would work with Reagan or Taka, as he would then basically just walk down there as the rest of the class would just look at him and say, Izuku, is that all your hero costume is? It's 
just the middle schooler's outfit, as Azuku would then just say, yeah, I couldn't really think of anything else. There's nothing really wrong with it. As they would both be tasked up to go against Bakugo and Ida. Now, Izuku would not really know what to do as he would be having an eternal crisis. His master, Regan Arataka, would tell him always never use your psychic powers against people as it's dangerous. To which Izuku never got around telling him what if he was training to be a hero. He never really realized if he should ask him about that. But maybe he should. Doesn't really know. As he would then start to walk into the building after All Might would tell them so. As they would then start to hear running from above them. As Izuku would point above them. As he'd see the ceiling and just rip the ceiling apart. Seeing as there was really no problem with that seeing as it was Bakugo. Izuku would then float both of them up to that floor. As they would see Bakugo running down the other hall, completely unnoticing of them. As Izuku would then tell Uraraka to be quiet, as they then tiptoe into the room where Ida was. They would open the door, as they would then see... They would then see Ida standing there with the bomb, as he'd say, Ah, you filthy heroes have arrived! I will not let you disarm this bomb. All of you will die. To which Izuku would then just use his psychic powers, lifting up one of his fingers and just drag the bomb over to them as they'd touch it. As All Might would then announce that Izuku's team has won the test. And that's where I'm going to leave it off, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. No, it's kind of a short video, but I'll be back with part three tomorrow, which will be 20 to 30 minutes long i hope you guys did enjoy this video thank you all for watching once again and goodbye